My name is Tony Rice. I'm a 34-year-old Ironman athlete and gym owner. I am 16 weeks post-op recovering from ACL surgery that was done by Dr. John Brown with the Core Institute. My athletic background extends on all sports and activities. I love to live limitless. When I travel, I like to hike, I like to run, bike, really attack anything that I possibly can. So growing up in team sports, then moving into golf where I moved down here to Phoenix, Arizona from Seattle, Washington to play golf. And then that transitioned into the love of triathlon, which I've been doing for about five years. I started as a short course triathlete and then have now moved into Ironman competitions. So Team 44 is a functional movement studio, but above and beyond, it's a community. I knew that owning my own business was something that I wanted to do. I knew that I wanted to go in the direction of fitness and owning my own business, so I started Team 44. Uh, on Friday night, November 7th, I was playing in a fun pickup soccer game and I was attacking the ball as it was going out of bounds. Uh, went to reach out, kick the ball and back into play. Uh, as I stepped, I heard the pop. Uh, I knew immediately that I had done something to my knee. I had assumed that it was ACL. Um, it was an interesting pain. It wasn't a lot of pain in the knee. Really, I felt it more kind of in my chest. I knew that it was, uh, I knew that it was something serious and I knew it was gonna be something that was gonna take a while to come back from. And then I went through the procedure of, of meeting with Dr. Brown and trying to find the avenue that was right for me um, in getting back to racing Ironman triathlon, um, not only with a short amount of time being on the shelf, but also so that I could have a long and successful career moving forward. I had a full ACL tear of the left knee. The rest of the knee was healthy. Uh, we decided since I was an Ironman triathlete that we wanted to decrease the morbidity in the knee. So we went with a cadaver graft, um, a bone patella bone graft. Being an Ironman triathlete and a coach, I wanted to make sure that I was just recovering from one area as opposed from two. So we decided to go in that direction. Before the injury, I was training and racing like crazy. 2015 was one of my biggest and longest years in triathlon, um, completing two Ironmans, and I really had some fun goals moving into 2016. This injury changed that in that I really, really had to adjust. I had to control what I could control. Uh, I really could not put in the type of volume that I wanted to, uh, and Knowing that I was going to be recovering from surgery, I had to shift my focus elsewhere. So as far as, as far as my body was concerned, there were certain things that I could do, I just made sure that I did them. Uh, so instead of using it as an excuse where I couldn't do the thing that I loved, which was compete and race, so I'm going to do nothing, I shifted my focus to the things that I can control and the things I could focus on. Uh, and that was continuing to strengthen those small stabilizing muscles throughout my legs, strengthen the core, work a little upper body, and just stay as fit as I could until I could use my legs again. Once four weeks came, post-op, I was able to start spinning a little bit, which that helped my sanity a little bit. I could spin up to, let's say, four to eight hours a week, which really allowed me to keep my conditioning level up uh, and to maintain my strength on the bike so that when I get back to the point of running, I won't have lost much. Uh, Dr. Brown, above and beyond, is uh, just a really solid dude. He helped me find that right line that was gonna be great for me as a triathlete, something that was gonna get me not only back to strength of racing this year, but also strength moving forward as I continue that career. Uh, but the communication level and giving me those options, not steering me in a direction that he wanted me to go, but giving me all of those options, educating me on everything, and then uh, helping guide me where he thought, uh, based on his experience, I might really succeed. My experience with the Core Institute was awesome. Dr. John Brown and his team were great, bringing me in, making me feel really comfortable, giving me all options and really educating me in what all of those options meant so that we could find the right process that was, that was right for me. Uh, once the decision was made and I went to the hospital, 
I was really comforted in being surrounded with like-minded individuals. The entire team that came in and supported me throughout the process um, really knew how, how to make me feel comfortable and that was the first time that I was in that situation. So it just so happened that uh, a couple of team members were triathletes and so we got to talk about some, some things that we had in common um, and I really knew that I was in good hands going into surgery. I would recommend CORE to friends and family and I already have. Uh, recently, a uh, Team 44 client tore her ACL playing football uh, and the first thing I did was get her in touch with Dr. John Brown. He'll be taking care of her and I have the confidence to know that he'll put her in the right position to succeed just as I did. If you're living with daily pain, find a professional that can help you identify where that's coming from and what are your options to fix it. You don't have to live with daily pain, whether it's chronic uh, or whether it is from an acute injury. Go out, do your research, talk to everyone, get all options available, and then make an educated decision on what would be best for you. The Core Institute really helped me get right back. All right, P. Was looking for. Um, obviously, in having this injury, if I was gonna move forward, it was gonna stop me from doing a lot of the things that I really wanted to do. And having that confidence in John Brown and Core, they helped me set right back on that path in a quick manner so that I could start that rehab process and get right back to normal life.